he's out of there. If you own a Trackhawk, if you own a TRX, if you own a Hellcat Red Eye, a Hellcat, a SRT Jeep, anything with an SRT badge is dangerous to own. And let me tell you why it's dangerous to uh, uh, why it's dangerous to own. Let me fix this camera a little bit. Let me tell you why it's dangerous to own a type of car like a Scat Pack, a Hellcat, a Track Car, a TRX. Months ago, for the new viewers, a lot of you guys are new to my channel. A lot of you guys don't know much about me. Um, I owned a, a 2019 V6, V6 Dodge Charger GT. I traded that car in. I went and got me a scat pack. Brand new out of the dealership, zero miles, 2021. Uh, it was a smoke show scat pack. I built that car from the ground up. And, you know, I added the wide body kit. Um, I added bigger wheels. I went and got a new air intake. Um, I literally built this car from the ground up, you guys. I, you know, I turned this car into a monster. Beautiful car. I'm going to put the pictures right here for the new viewers. A lot of you guys do not know me. Um, but here is a little bit about me and a little bit about my channel and you know what this journey been about this journey it has not been easy uh, I, we own a v6 dodge challenger and we had the scat pad we lost both of them and in like three months we we lost both cars three months so you know you you live and you learn anyway they stole my car from the barbershop guys and um they climbed through the back they busted the back window they threw the window on the ground and they climbed through the back window this window right here and they stole my car they literally cranked my car in less than three minutes um car was gone gone they cranked it up gone you guys gonna see the video i'm gonna play the video for you guys um and i ran into this other video uh where this stolen dodge charger scat pack wild body took the police on a high speed chase and it was stolen I don't know what happened. I don't know. All I know is he came out of a, it looked like an alley. Um, and he shook the police. He literally took off on the police. And um, it was a stolen Dodge Charger scat pack. If you look at the back window, you guys are going to see that the car was stolen. I'm going to go ahead and play this video um, when they stole my scat pack from my job. Um, literally, I was feet away from the car. Like, I want to say about 50 to 60 feet away from the car. Um, the car was literally parked next to the building where I work at and uh, they stole it and you know Like I said, they stole it in seconds, but you live and you learn you guys if you're gonna own any Type of Dodge Charger vehicle like a SRT Jeep like a Hellcat or a scat pack or a um, Jailbreak anything anything with an SRT anything with a Hellcat batch you have to go and get you know alarm systems you got to go get a kill switch you have to go get air tags drop an air tag or two inside of the car you have to do all these things in order to prevent your car from being stolen i'm gonna go ahead and play these videos for you guys watch this video um this is when they first stole my car
You guys see that? Like, you know, that it, it's, it's a big problem. It's a major, major issue right now with owning a Dodge Charger or a Challenger or a, you know, SUV like a Durango Hellcat or a Durango, uh, you know, like a the V8, you know, Hemi Durango. Anything that has RT or any Hemi product, any Hemi vehicle, these are out here trying to steal everything with the Hemi name. Anything that's SRT, anything Hemi, man, these thieves are here. They are out of control, literally. They are out of control. Like, I don't know, man. I have seen so many guys get their car stolen. And it, it's kind of sad, but, you know, this is the world we live in. If you are going to purchase a Hellcat, if you are going to purchase a TRX, a Trackhawk, a Demon, whatever it is that you're trying to purchase that is a Dodge product and is a Hemi and is a SRT or whatever, you have to protect it. You have to go get your alarm. You have to go get you, you know, a kill switch. You have to go get you some uh, um, air tags, drop it on the car. You have to do that and drop those air tags, of course, where you only know, only, only you know where they're at. You know, only you know what those air, air attacks are at, you know. Um, but, man, what can you do? What can you do? You know, we love these cars so much. And we don't want to stop owning a Dodge because thieves and police are targeting us. Another thing. That's another thing. Police. Bro, police do not leave Dodge Chargers and Challengers alone. And I understand, you know, why police kind of give us a hard time. Police don't know. Maybe there's drugs in the car. A lot of people think that only black people and minorities and people from the ghetto and people of lower class owns Hellcats and Scatback. That's not true. That's not true. You know, we get a lot of a lot of negativity. You know, a lot of hate. You know, owning a scat pack and a Hellcat, any Dodge product right now, we ha we get a lot of hate, bro. We don't know how to act. We hoodlums, we act like animals. Oh, he sell drugs. You name it, man. Owning a Hellcat or a Scat Pack, man, you get negativity from everywhere. You get negativity from the thieves because, of course, that's a negative energy. You know, you gotta really keep your car where you can see it. That way, you know they don't steal it. Cops pulling you over for no reason. You might not be speeding. You might not be doing nothing wrong. They just want to pull you over just to see. Just to see that the car is not stolen. There's no drugs in the car. You know what I'm saying? There's no illegal guns in the car. I'm pretty sure that's probably why police nine times out of ten be, you know, harassing Dodge Chargers. Don't get me wrong. A lot of, you know, people don't know how to act either behind the wheel. But, you know, we do get targeted by just not thieves. By the cops too. We get targeted by cops and thieves. You know, and we get a lot of hate, man. We get a lot of hate, you know, and, you know, that's part of owning a Dodge product. A lot of people talk bad about Dodge. A lot of people. But a lot of people love these cars, you know. A lot of people, they are in love with Dodge, you know, because this these cars, what they can do is insane, bro. You know, what, they, what these cars can do, it's crazy. We never seen nothing like it, you know. We never seen nothing like it. These cars are very powerful. They are fun. They are beautiful. Maybe in the interior, they not mind that they might not be the most luxurious car in the interior, but the outside, man, this car is gorgeous and stand out. When you see a wide body bro from far away, you like, man, that thing look like a freaking monster. It looked like you hugging up the highway. Like he looked like he been in the gym. You know, when you see a wide body Hellcat or a Sky Pack, man. Them things look like they been in the gym all day long, doing weights, you know, doing legs, shoulders, back. They look muscular. That's, you know, that's Dodge. That's the definition of muscle. You know, that wide body just different. And, you know, we just get so much negativity, man. That's all. We get so much negativity, you guys. Um, Hellcats and scat packs. You know, you're going to have the haters and, you know, you're going to have people that, you know, they don't want to work. You got people that just, you know, they want the easy way out. There's a lot of people out here that, you know, they want to steal. They want to steal your wheels, your engine. They probably want to steal your car, strip it down. 
you know, steal your track hog, take it somewhere, strip it down, dump it. They don't want to, they don't want to work. They don't want to get it out the mud. You know, a lot of people out here, they, they're okay with going to the dealership and taking, you know, two or three, four, five scat packs, all them wheels. I have seen videos where they, they didn't strip the whole dealership, took all the wheels, wiped out the Dodge dealership, literally wiped it out took all the wheels people don't want to work these days man people don't really want to earn it you know you got to earn it man you know what i'm saying if life was so easy it wouldn't be fun now, i remember when i was in jail a thief cannot sleep in the cell bro i mean in the pod because you know the, the jail that i was in what well, the prison i was in um it's open dorm um if they if the if the bloods knew or the cribs or any other gang members that was inside of that pod Knew you was a thief. You can't be in there, bro. You're going to have to check off. And check off, you know, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I don't got to explain what check off mean. You know, a lot of people don't know what the fuck that means. But if they, if, if the pod know that you are a thief, you cannot sleep in there, bro. I saw it for myself when I was in there. Bro, I remember this thief, right? He was a thief. Find out they find out he was a thief. Like after probably about two months he been in the pod. Maybe a month and a half. The block find out that he was a thief. Man, they made that man checked off, bro. They made him check off. Literally. And they took everything that was in his fucking locker. From oils, food, goddamn hair product. They took everything. Everything. They took everything. They find out he was stealing. They took everything from that man, bro. If you a snitch, if you a motherfucking thief, you're not gonna. If you like to steal, man, hell no, bro. You better not go into jail. If you ever get caught stealing out here and you go into jail stealing too, man, shit, they're gonna bust your fucking head in there, bro. They're gonna tear your ass up. They're gonna beat you up. Seriously, they might hit you with a lot while you sleep. And that's how the prison system works. That's how the prison world, bro, is, it's a whole different type of world when you're in prison. Out here, you can hide all you want. You can hide all you want. In prison, you you they know you're a thief. You know, I love Hellcats. I love Scat Packs. I love everything about Dodge. And I like a whole lot of other cars. But, you know, a Dodge is what I, what I want. I want a Hellcat. You know, I want a Hellcat. I want to enjoy my car you know and you know in the future i can say i own a hellcat whether i get rid of it keep it whatever i can say i own a hellcat a lot of people ain't going they not going to be able to say that it's all about living life you know i want to live life i want to enjoy it myself and you know i'm gonna go and get that car do what i need to do but they stealing cars out here like crazy especially in the dodge Chargers and challenger and the track hogs and the trx you have to go get an alarm. You have to go get a kill switch. You have to go get you some air tags and drop them in your car and keep a close eye on your car. And you need to go get you a, 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 some protection. You need to go get you, yeah, you feel me? You need to go get you some protection because, you know, it's a dangerous car to own, man. Everybody talks shit about Hellcats and, and Scat Packs and TRX and Track Hawk, but we get the most attention. But I'm going to leave this video here, man. And uh, just, guys, it's a headache. But, shit, what can you do? Let's have fun with it, man. You know, just, y'all be safe out here, man. If you want a track hawk or a Hellcat or a Demon or anything like that, make sure y'all go get an alarm. Make sure you go get a skill switch. Unless you just want your car stolen. If you want your car stolen, go ahead. But if you don't want your car stolen, go get your alarm. Go get you a kill switch. These cars are going out next year. They're not going to make them anymore. So you can just imagine how much these cars are going to be in the next three years. In the next three years, these cars are going to be more expensive. And if you want to make an investment, why would you get why would you get your car stolen? You know, because if you get your car stolen, you want another Hellcat. You're going to have to spend more money because... Hellcat prices are not going down. They're not going down. I'm going to let you know that right now. Track Hulk, Demons, Superstock Hellcats, Red Eye Hellcats, Hellcats, 
none of that stuff is going down. They're going to keep going up in prices. So if you get your car stolen, you're going to have to pay a lot of money to get another Hellcat. So protect your Mopar, get you a kill switch, get you an alarm, get you a couple of uh, um, air tags, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.